Right. All right, your last comedian of the night. Put your hands together for the very funny Mr. Larry Hernandez. <laughs> Yes, as you heard, my name is Larry Hernandez. I have a very white first name and a very Hispanic last name. So basically that means I have split personalities. When I go and introduce myself to someone, I'm like, hey, I'm Larry, how's it going? And then one of my friends in the background yells, hey, Hernandez, what's going on? And I'm like, hola, vato, como esta? Tell him what's going on, fool, where's the 40 at? Shit, man, we're crazy. Yeah, that started pretty much in grade school. Uh, pretty much started whenever uh, I went to a predominantly white neighborhood and they put me in the ESL class right away. They just saw my last name, they didn't even talk to me, they just stuck me in the ESL class. That's what happens when you register yourself. Uh, yeah, but uh, I was in there and uh, the teacher he finally came up to me. He's like, Hola, como estas? Como te llamas? And I'm like, dude, my name's Larry. I don't even speak Spanish. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you're Hispanic, right? You're supposed to be in this class, right? And I'm like, yeah, but I speak English. Like, I don't speak, I don't speak Spanish at all. Like, these, everybody else here speaks Spanish. I speak English. He's like, oh, okay, well, we still got to give you this little test to make sure you're Hispanic. And I was like, why? And he just put me in the other classes where the people are speaking the American language. And uh, they were just like, oh, you, see, you get paid more for Mexicans? I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. But yeah, they, they just took me to the playground. They, uh, they wanted to see how I interacted with all the other kids, see if I could speak properly with them. If I wasn't just, just had those sentences memorized. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so I was in the playground, I was, I was swinging on the playground, there was a white girl next to me, I was like, what's up, white girl, I told you. I sold her some roses, it was pretty cool. Uh, then I went to the, uh, to the sandbox, just started digging, the teacher looked over at me, he's like, yeah, he's interacting fine with all the other kids, and he's kind of like a huge like tunnel down there, like, that's crazy, he's only been out here 15 minutes, and I'm like, that's like 20 feet, that's crazy. I was kind of happy that they saw me dig that one because the day before I was digging a longer one and it was going all the way to Mexico. There was lights in it, Jose was bringing work in. It was crazy. And that's where all the teachers came from. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I was raised by my, raised just by my mom. She's a single mom. I was raised by her. And uh, a lot of times it wouldn't just, she wouldn't raise me at all. Like, she would just, Gave me a bus pass and told me to go ride around Phoenix. <laughs> I mean, she made mistakes, but I mean, I learned a lot riding the bus. I learned a lot. Like, I always carry cologne on me now. Like, always carry cologne. Because whenever homeless people or people come up to me and ask me for change, I just give them a little dab of the cologne. <laughs> and I say, I know that's not the change you were looking for, but now you smell better. <laughs> Um, I guess he went to medical school, 
Yeah, he was in medical school, I guess. Uh, I don't know, like the back of his shirt's always said DOC. You guys know that? <laughs> yeah, I never really found out where it's at, but I know it's all over. <laughs> so it must be a good school. Uh, yeah, my dad would teach me a lot every time he came. Every time he came home, he would teach me a lot. He, he like taught me how to be like passive. He taught me not to fight people. Like all the people in my family were crazy. They would fight people. He taught me not to do that. And uh, like he also taught me how to steal cars, which is weird, really weird. But I was like, why are you teaching me how to steal cars? And he's like, I want you to, I want you to know how to steal cars just in case you're ever in a bind. But I also want you to know how to steal cars so you can do it for good. I was like, what do you mean for good? Like, you want me to go to, like, local places where people are, like, getting their cars stolen and, like, steal the cars back from the thief? <laughs> and then take it to the owner of the car? Like, that's just crazy. I did it once, and I got arrested. <laughs> so it didn't really work out for me. All right, this is the last joke I'm going to give you guys. It's one of my favorite jokes. Uh, I like, uh, I used to have a Dalmatian. I love my Dalmatian so much. I used to take it for walks everywhere. People would always come up to me, they'd be like, oh my god, is that a Dalmatian, like 101 Dalmatians? And I was like, yeah, it's a Dalmatian, it looks exactly like the cover. And they were like, oh, okay, thank you. And I was just, okay, so I got tired of telling people yes all the time. Like, so this lady and her daughter, like, she came up to me, she was so enthused, so excited, she was like, oh my god, is that a Dalmatian, like 101 Dalmatians? I bought my daughter the sheets, I love the movies, I have it all, I love Dalmatians so much. And I looked her dead in the eye, and I'm like, I'm sorry, ma'am. It's not actually a Dalmatian, but it's a chocolate lab and it has the same disease as Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs>